I'm going to start from an empty Python file and I'm going to show you the main course of this app. I'm going to do this fast from engine. We Now we're going to do object detection, so we import object detection. We load the model. Uh, the model is the one that we just created. So from on the model, we need to put our file best.pt for our specific product, the one in this case for our bottle. So I put this already in the folder models of this project. So I just load it best.pt, the OpenCV library. Here, bottle.mov I have. Now let's put everything in a loop so that we can load the video while true. And here the compiler is suggesting everything. So we have the image cap.read. Now, before doing object detection, let's show everything to make sure that we're loading the video correctly. CV2.im show. Now, of course, I'm going fast with this. If you're not familiar with OpenCV, I have so many other tutorials about this. CV2, wait key to keep everything on hold. If we press 27, which is the S key on the keyboard, we want to quit and then we release everything. Now let's run this. We're now loading the video correctly. As you can see, it's going to very, very fast. Let's now perform the object detection using the model that we've just created. So I'm going to close this one and we perform the detection here after we get the frame. So we do object detection and the object detection will be OD dot detect. We want to detect image. Here are the parameters and what are we going to get? We object detection, we're going to get bounding boxes, class IDs and scores. Now let's loop through everything. Here the copilot is suggesting this already. I recommend to write everything from scratch if you're new to this so that you can familiarize. We're getting the bounding box. Now let's do this simple and we show the rectangle. We're, going, we're going, getting the coordinates X and Y, X2 and Y2 to draw the rectangle about the position of our object. Let's test that. And now you, you can see this is happening now. We are having the detection of the three things that we wanted to detect it in real time from the video. And this is our model that, that's doing that. So the object when are crossing on the conveyor, we have exactly the detection so we can extract our product. First step is done, we have the detection of our product. And this is very important that you do this well. If you have already problems with this one, if it's not detecting correctly the product, then you need to improve this one. Don't go further if you are not succeeding.